Hey everybody, Free From Output here. We're always collecting feedback and discovering new ways to make Arcade even better. So let's take a look at how to optimize your workflow with the new features available in version 1.5. This time, we've made some major improvements to Arcade's browser navigation and search tools. These updates include redesigned navigation throughout the browser and play pages, fast and intuitive filtering systems, a new approach to text search, and a fresh new grid layout, as well as a handful of UI improvements and bug fixes. First of all, we've gotten rid of the tabs to toggle between browse and play pages. Now, if you want to browse for the right sounds, choose between the feed, search, lines, and your stuff tabs located on the left side of the window. Select feed to peruse what's new and recommended kits, search to zero in on the perfect sound, lines to browse like-minded kits, or your stuff to access customized kits and user imported sounds. To enter the play page, simply select a kit or click the small icon beside the active kit title in the top middle of Arcade. Within the play page, the mixer, advanced modulation and macros, and kit playback settings are now located in the bottom right hand side of the window. The most drastic changes in version 1.5 can be found within the search and line browser pages. Let's start with the new and improved search page. Two new tabs beneath the search bar make navigating Arcade more adaptable to your production style than ever before. Click the Kits tab to browse in the traditional fashion. If you want to build the perfect kit from the ground up, you can do so by selecting the Samples tab. Every loop Arcade has to offer can be found here. As you locate the sounds you want to include in your production, simply click and drag the loop onto the key you want to use as a trigger. For those that already know what they want, listing the kits or samples that have already been downloaded is possible at the touch of a button, located on the right side of the screen beneath the search bar. Arcade version 1.5 offers intuitive search bar and filter tab integration to get you where you're going faster. For instance, say you're looking for an epic sound to complement your instrumental track. Entering this query into the search bar will reveal all kits and loops that might be classified as epic. That's a lot. <laughs> but then again, we make a lot of epic content. Did I mention that version 1.5 enables you to view more kit results at once with its new grid layout? Smart thinking. Now, within these search results, you can narrow things down by selecting keywords that help identify the ideal sound via the filtering tabs, located right above the result bank. You can filter specific instrument, genre, function, mood descriptor, or line. If you're feeling meta, you can even filter your filters using the internal search bar. Finally, if a certain filter renders your search too narrow, remove it from the equation by clicking the X or wipe your entire search by clicking Reset beside the filtering tabs. It's important to note that filtering lines allows you to browse Arcade's signature collection of lines or groups of kits that share a musical purpose without ever having to leave the search window. But for those of you that want to take the scenic route, you can browse all of Arcade's lines by clicking the tab near the top left of the browser. The new lines aesthetic showcases each collection's eye-popping art along with a short description of what's in store. For those new to Arcade or curious as to what's available, this is a great place to start. Once you choose a line, enjoy the same sound filtering experience by toggling between kits and samples, as well as identifying keywords within the filtering tabs. These powerful new functions promise to make version 1.5 Arcade's most accessible and customizable update yet. We're always learning and finding new ways to level up Arcade, so stay tuned for more updates as they develop. Thanks for watching and merry music making.